All right, guys, down to last nine. Oh my god, I said I was going to finish this in December, and I might be able to finish in December. I keep doing these long breaks because I have events to post. But regardless, let's slide in another account review for this week with Skrix. Skrillex, that old band that most of you guys don't know, or group. Is it a group or is it one person? I don't even know anymore. I, I never listened to it back then, so I wouldn't know. Anyways, though. Uh, his message to me is hi chemo first off just want to say that your videos have helped have not have already been very helpful since i started playing around the start of this year february if i remember right the Kronstadt event was my first event after i joined so right right around march february so a little bit under a year not bad I'll also thank you by the way have spent a little money in the game, but not a whole lot. I've bought cruise passes and a couple small gem packs. Very, very nice. I'm obviously uh, way behind on PR grind in a sense. And once I start... Wait, maybe I should read this later. I don't know. I'm going to read it right now. Anyways, though. Uh, and once I started with that, I jumped around a bit between PR 1 and 3. And I've been spending a lot of time on PR 4 lately. Nearly have been... You only have my first 10 right, though RNG isn't playing along uh, right now, lol. Yeah, that was me with like cruiser guns, that's for sure. I'm pretty active and I play daily, though I'm otherwise a fairly casual uh, player and enjoy growing my collection while I'm also making my way gradually through the campaign, Operation Siren, and etc. Alright, very, very nice. I do like to optimize my fleet, and I, but I also like using my favorite favorites even if they aren't selected the best in the slot. Clearwell 13 with uh, Cleveland, Minneapolis. Very nice. All right, so we have questions afterwards, but let's go ahead and get into the account. Give me the audio real quick. Let's get right into it. So less than a year, 112. Very nice. So let's see here. That's right about where you want to be. Very, very nice as well, too. About 50% more attacks and ships owned. That's correct. Missions, exercises. Definitely an active player by all means. Very, very active. Very nice, actually. <clears throat> very very nice so going down the list we have a couple ships. we have a couple of 120s actually we have a lot of them so that's good um don't know if you missed anyone uh any any as particular for ur ships so this was posted in november so it's updated like this month so it's not like three months behind like most of them are so it is updated uh musashi kronstadt and vanguard are here so that's good don't know if you have shinano though or may i read that earlier but don't see Shinano in here. Maybe you have her down the list somewhere, but let's find out as of right now. Nice, you do have Shinano. All right, we're good. You pretty much have everything you need as of right now. Now you're just chilling, so that's very, very good. Um, going down the list, we do have a couple ships in here that are very, very unique on 120s. Like as a new player, or like a roughly new player, we have Prince of Wales that's ringed and 120. By the way, Prince of Wales needs a wedding skin. I'm telling you guys that right now. Like, not even kidding you guys. Prince of Wales needs a oaf skin. Like, actual, like, needs a skin. I also like that Hornet ring as well, too. I also respect that very, very well. My man, my man. Well done. Now, I will say that Kantai's Hornet looks very, very nice. I gotta say, it's very, very nice. But, regardless, though, Agilene's Hornet is also not too shabby herself either. So, that's very cool. Very, very cool. We're going on unless we have a couple of ships right here. A lot of PR ships um, that are maxed out, but not like 120 maxed out, like developer maxed out. So maybe this guy will get around to it eventually, though. We'll have to see. But we'll worry about that once we get into the questions. But as of right now, I see a good amount of ships that you have. Quite a lot, actually, for under a one-year player. So that's good. And a lot of them are leveled up as well, too. So you can tell this player is very active. I like it. I like it. I like it. We have a lot of ships right now. All about the equal zone, so that is very good. And we have Albion right there. <laughs> Item wise, let's see here. We have Cog Rays are low, that's to be expected. Cog ships are doing pretty wood, good right pretty wood. Pretty good right now. I have about the same right now, but I do want more, but I think I have enough cog ships for the rest of my account's life, I think. Unless they add like a lot more new ships, but we should be okay though. Uh, in terms of cog ships for the remainder of my career's life or whatever for game like so we are lacking a lot of plays but i think you're using them i think you're using them so that's that should be good so we'll look at we'll look at that later 
468 cubes this should be roughly in time for the atelier riza collab so your fleet as of right now looks pretty solid so you don't have to pull for them but i highly recommend as a collector and playing the game as you're laying you kind of want to have all the ships so i'm not going to tell you to pull for the ships but it's nice to have it's nice to have also we have that ur one coming up as well too and we have that item. I forgot which retrofit should we use that, but it's there. Or is it retrofit? I think it is retrofit, but regardless though, going down the list, we have a good amount of everything. Kind of low on plates, but we still have a good chunk, so that should be okay. We skip that part. Uh, one, 13, uh, 1 plus 13 on the 457s. One Drake gun. Working on the 10 right. As he said earlier, he's a little bit unlucky on that, so you can definitely relate to that. I also see Musashi using the... Uh, rainbow fire control radar and the Yamato gun setup. I've been using that quite often guys So I respect that respect that respect that and I know a lot of people hate using the Yamato gun for Musashi or whatever, but hey listen Fine, don't worry about what people say. It's a fine setup. Okay, so like that setup For Musashi, but we do need to work on that 10 ride though So I highly recommend doing that and then going back for the second 457 and then going back for more 10 rides so going down the list, we do have a couple plus 13 steam catapults. I hope you're working on that as of right now, because that's free damage for your carriers. So that's good. You also have Shinano, so that means you have the Haku Shinano combo. And then you can toss it like a Musashi or Enterprise or Arc Royal. Something as that third slot for extra damage. So having a lot more steam catapults at plus 13 is actually a really good idea. Now shells, black shells, working on a plus 11 right now. I think you're working on a plus 13, I'm not sure. Black shells are all right to get plus 13. There's a free firepower, so it's not terrible. But I do like the white shells at plus 13 though, which you have one of, second one kind of there. So that's good. Junkers, we have a couple at plus 10. We have one plus, thir plus 13, so work on that. AP rockets as well too, one plus 13. Definitely work on more of these as well too. These are very, very important. Very, very good planes for bossing in general. So highly recommend you make more of those plus 13 AP rockets and you should be able to smack any boss that comes at you. Now augment stuff, I don't need to look at these augments, but let's look at the um, gear stuff. I think right now in terms of gear, let's see what you're actually missing right now, like what you're lacking. I think, did I see a lot of washing machines or whatever? Yeah, I saw a couple. Uh, we have three, six of the Dido AAs, that's very, very nice. Stack both first, we have two i think you should make one more just in case you want to run a full bb setup and san diego isn't like the best to use with this if you want to use san diego for damage give her dido aas otherwise if you want to use her for pure aa stuff there's better there's like both stack bofers and stuff but or just the bofers in general which are better much much better anti-air than the stat uh stat the stags which are for battleships primarily so um i would say work on one more i think you can from just doing like other pr researches you can't really craft them from um gear labs so ignore that for now you have plus 13s on the uh bitters that's an interesting one that's the i wouldn't say that's like the best use of general gold plates but hey i'm not gonna stop you my man you do whatever you want all right i'm just here to review your account you can do whatever you want uh, I think having one uh, plus 13 a, a, uh, champagne gun as well is good as well too if you want to do a medium armor setup once you have um, New Jersey as well. Until then, though, we, until then though you can hold off on it I feel. You don't have to really use it. Now looking at this stuff right here I think we're good on everything that I saw. Um, I don't think you really need to make much of anything else. Maybe like more light cruiser guns probably if you have more light cruiser guns. Otherwise though you're fine. I think um these anti-airs are pretty good so if you need like real good anti-air make some of those stag bofers as well too if you have any available right here but those are really good anti-air as well these replace the bofers for the uss ones so any any uh vanguards with like high aa you can use these and they'll be really really good with them oh 10 rice four more to go hopefully you have it done by now it's been you submitted this two weeks ago so hopefully it's done by now i hope it is now, in terms of uh, campaign, we are at chapter 14. You're going to get there eventually, my dude. It, it is intimidating, but you should at least knock out the first two maps. 14-1, 14-2 are very, very easy. It's not until 14-3 is when a lot of people are going to struggle, so that's the difficult part. Then we have the OS fleet. I'll talk about these in a bit, assuming you have questions about them. I think you do. Um... Actually, I don't think you do at all. But let me see. Let me see. OS fleet right here. 
I think you're using like whatever is best. So let's see. I think okay. So first fleet should obviously your boss setup. Second fleet is like your BB setup. If you're gonna do a BB setup, if you have Plymouth, definitely slot her in there. And if you have Rune Moose, which I told a lot of people to buy, that's also another good option as well too. Cleveland, I know she's really fun and whatnot to use, and I think she is one of your favorite ships to use in the game. So if you want to have Cleveland in your uh, BB boss setup, don't make her a tank. Have her like in the middle somewhere, but get an actual tank for your boss setup. Trust me for battleships. Uh, right now you have two light cruisers and a destroyer as your vanguard. There's no real tank here. So keep that in mind. Also, um, it's better to have Kronstadt in the front and have Drake in the back. That's if you have Fate Sim 5. Uh, if you have Fate Sim 5, definitely do that. Otherwise, this is okay. But just realize Drake is like not that tanky. All right. Same with your third fleet right here. Um, Kazagumo is a good buffer for your carriers. But again, you don't want to have her in the front. You want to have Prince Ogin in the front. So keep her in like the back or the middle at least because I think she's... She's more valuable with her buff compared to Kazakh uh, Ayanami, so you want to have her in the middle and take at least the least amount of damage possible. And then the third, uh, fourth fleet, I assume this is your mob fleet right here because you have uh, Salitz and Perseus. So I'm going to assume you like Belfast, otherwise, this fleet is fine. Maybe a little bit more torpedo damage in this fleet, and you should be good to go. Like a Shimakaze or like um, Ayanami would be really good here too. Um, Maybe a little bit more torpedo damage, but everything else though seems fine for this fleet. You have a solid hitter with War Spite. You have a lot of preloads and early early damage output with Perseus and Sedlitz. Uh, some good gun damage with London and Minneapolis. Just needs a little bit more torpedo damage and you should be okay with there. And let's do PR research right now. So PR1. So Monarch is done, so that's fine. I would say if you need tanks, Rune is nice too, but you can probably skip on that for now. St. Louis also maxed as well too. St. Louis is also very good, by the way. You have her maxed up, but you're not using her. She's really good. Well, I think you're not using her. No, maybe maybe I'm high right now. I think you do have her somewhere in there. Um, but Yeah, use St. Louis. I don't see her in there. Use St. Louis. She's really good. Now, PR2, we have Georgia maxed out, and the others are working on. It's going to take some time, but you'll get around to it eventually, so just keep at it, my man. It's going to take a while. PR is one of those things that takes a very long time, so get at it whenever you can. Drake is also maxed out as well, too. That's also very, very good. PR4 working on as of right now. That's the most important one when you're going for endgame stuff. So, like I said, you're working on that as of right now. Good job, good job, and eventually get that done. I think that's it for this account. Let's see the questions. The first question is, I still don't know, uh, understand what I should be uh, be doing regarding me officers. And apart from rarity, don't really know how to tell whether a given cat is good or bad or not worth the investment into. Again, I do have a cat video. Go ahead and watch that. If I remember to put it in the video, I'll go ahead and put it in the description as well too. But me officers... Which should use Azure Lane, search that up. Very, very easy to find. Very easy to find. Like I said before in multiple videos of account reviews, if you have a question related to the game that isn't PvP related, I probably have a guide for it. You just gotta look it up. I'm very confident in that. The second question. I've got a bunch of unused universal PR and DR prints. What ship should I prioritize them on? Also, am I better off focusing completely on one ship at a time for till Fate Sim 5? Or getting developer 31st and a better option. Developer 31st, after that, just skip on to the next ship. Developer 30 is the big one right there. And most of the time, Fate Sim 5s aren't super, super massive compared to just having Fate uh, Dev 30 ships. So get your Dev 31st, then go back. Once you have the necessary ships of Dev 30, then worry about getting Fate Sim 5s for ships that do need them. Like Anchorage is really good to have Fate Sim 5. But worry about Dev 31st before that happens. As for your DR prints, though, I do have a priority list I made a couple weeks ago, I'm not sure, like a month ago, saying uh, which DR ship is worth prioritizing. Again, I'll try to put that in the video if I remember. Hopefully I remember it. And you can just go ahead and watch that though. But for the most part, PR4 DR ships are very, very good. Uh, and then Plymouth is also a very good option as well too when you work on PR5. The others, if you like them, you can work on them. But for the most part, the other DR ships aren't necessary as much as 
the two in PR4, Haku Ryu and E-Girl, and Plymouth from PR5. The third question, at what point does it make sense to use DR uh, PR ships for series content only at Dev3 or earlier? So the good ships like E-Girl, uh, Azuma, you can use those at like Dev 20, 25-ish or so. I say 25, but you can use them like probably 20 as well too. There are some ships in this game I don't recommend until you, to use until you get to Dev 30, like Monarch FDG that has that main gown, uh, main gown, main gun mount plus one. Also Haku Ryu as well too. Now I say this because Haku Ryu, even though she gets most of her good plane loadouts by Dev 25, you don't get perma stats until the ship is six stars, and six stars requires you to be Dev 30. So when you want to use carriers like Shinano Haku Ryu. Shinano can go first, but you're going to have that awkward timing between airstrikes where Haku Ryu is like a little bit behind Shinano. And if you're doing like three or four airstrike rotations, your Haku Ryu is probably going to be like six seconds behind Shinano by the time you get to your third or fourth rotation. So that's going to be very, very lagging behind. You want to keep that in mind. So Haku Ryu, I definitely recommend to be 30. Uh, E-Girl, Azuma, Plymouth, you can do this much earlier, like 20 or 25. And then the other ones, you can just toss in whatever. There are a couple that Dev 30 though. Me specifically, I use ships at Dev 30. If I want to use, like, if I need, if I need to do like hard content, I use other ships that are maxed out already compared to ones that aren't maxed out. But for the most part though, Dev 25 is safe for most ships and 30 for like a, a handful of them to be useful at Dev 30. The fourth question, do you have any compositions or equipment advice? What should I use on a shift and what should I build upgrade in the future as I prepare for World 14? Again, World 14 is going to be a heavy D uh, submarine stuff when we get to 14.3 uh, and 14.4. Again, I have multiple guides on those. I'm tired of posting them, but I'll, I'll try to remember, remember it. Maybe basically though, again, you can definitely find my guides out there on YouTube. If I have some, if it's like some kind of hard content, you should be able to find like a video of me clearing it or a video of me telling you like how to properly do it but for the most part it is going to be a submarine world so submarine world means you're going to need destroyers so some of the best destroyers you have as of right now let me go through your list as of right here you have suzuki which is good kazaguma which is good uh z23 can be fine uh definitely is an acceptable answer kawakazi not exactly sure about that one uh but you have wakasuki wakasuki suzuki is definitely a good combo for world 14. So if you have her from the Musashi event, that's also very, very good. Uh, you probably don't have Mushimakaze because you start very late. So if you have Yudachi, I don't think you have Yudachi. Maybe you do. Yudachi is also a very good um, answer to World 14. Um, I'm probably blind here. I think I am. I can't find her anywhere. But Yudachi is definitely a good answer as well, too. Uh, I'm gonna look through your list real quick though. Uh, um, Ayanami can work, but a lot of her damage is front loaded, so it's kind of like scary because you won't have sustained damage for DDs. Uh, also, new event. Um, there's also like Ryza that can have good wave clear, so that's also a thing. Yudachi right here. Yudachi is really good at World 14, and we have a retrofit it. He's gonna be a powerhouse for sure. We have her at 120, 125 retrofit it. She's gonna be very, very good there. So work on your DDs. Everything else though, you should be okay. You have the back line already done. It's just worrying about vanguards right now. Have a tank, run two DDs for your van uh, for your vanguard setup, and for your boss setup, run at least one DD in case you have uh, troubles with your mob setup, just to clear things up for you. And just run a full burst damage setup for bossing. You should be okay. But the most important part for World 14 is getting a really good mob setup, which is good heals, good preload, good wave clear, uh, two DDs, two good DDs and have at least one solid tank and you should be okay and last question i've started to be able to regularly clear ex fights just in the last two events but i still struggle against hard arbor and meta fights with what ships i currently have uh would i be doing differently so if you guys are lacking in terms of damage for any sort of hard content the easiest way to get through it is with carriers just slam carriers in and eventually it should be able to do the job enterprise arc royal august von parsifal Hakuryu, Shinano, if you have those two. Um, Shokaku, Illustrious, Indomitable definitely can work as well too. Just slamming carriers and that should get the job done. This month's Arbiter, which is uh, the Strength Arbiter, is one of the hardest ones we've gotten so far because it has the purple stats and the shield, which is very, very annoying. So if you can't clear this hard Arbiter this month, I can't really blame you. I can't really blame a lot of people as of right now that 
are doing a hard arbor this month that they can't clear it because it was pretty difficult for me too. I autoed it and it took me three fleets. Uh, well, it, it took me like two fleets, but the last fleet got to like one HP and I was like mad because the shield spawned. But it took me a little bit to try as well too. So if you guys are struggling with this Arbiter fight, I can't really blame you guys. But do, do try your best to clear it though because it is worth it for the gold plates. But if you, ever, if you ever struggle with boss fights in this game, just slam carriers down. Carriers are your easy damage output in this game because all you really need for carriers are AP rockets, which are from PR4, and torpedo bombers that are converging, like Junkers or Ryusei's, which are from Gear Labs, and you can farm them from, uh, I think, Nagato's event or whatever. So that's all you basically need. And you just slam those into bosses, big damage. Very, very easy investment as well, too, because they only this gold gear, so it's not like that expensive at all. So just do primarily that. Uh, as for meta fights, though, uh, since you do have the Musashi, uh, Haku Ryu, Shinano combo, that's probably like your safest one as of right now. So I would say just do that. Um, when you have Haku Ryu maxed out, though, I would highly recommend maxing her out first. Just kick out Nagato, put Haku Ryu in. That should be your setup for bossing. Then do like a Helena with some kind of tank. And either a Plymouth or a Kazaguma, whichever you decide, whatever you want. If the boss is too um if the boss is too strong and does too much damage, drop out uh Kazagumo for either Anchorage or Plymouth for more survivability. Plymouth also buffs your Musashi as well, too, so that's very, very good. Uh, but just have like at least one or two tanks. Helena as well for this more damage output and then just three heavy hitters or two heavy hitters and like one buffer but primarily like three heavy hitters so in this case Shinano, Hakuryu, and Musashi are all three heavy hitters can't go wrong with that if you want to do a BB setup uh, New Jersey, Vanguard, and Musashi but you don't have New Jersey right now also it's a little bit more investments because you gotta figure out timings and stuff like that so you gotta like play around multiple gears I got plus 13 which is a pain because you you're not always going to use these gears at plus 13 for certain areas, so it's not like the best, best investment. Um, but for the most part, though, that should be okay. Just having Hakuryu and Shinano just makes your bossing life much, much easier for the most part. Even if you don't want to play carriers, just having those two together is just really, really good. Trust me. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.